Well, welcome back to Live at Five. We're taking a live look down the Savannah River towards Augusta. Starting to see a little bit more blue sky appearing here with the latest uh, check-in of this camera. But 78 degrees right now, those winds on the calmer side. The dew point close to 60, so just a little bit of humidity out there. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 70s area-wide across the region. So only one 81-degree reading in Swainsboro. These temperatures in general, though, are starting to make that uh, decline back towards the 60s that we'll have closer towards the kickoff of Toby Mac tonight uh, in North Augusta for the Jackal Lancer and Jubilee. So if you have any plans on heading out there for this evening, I would recommend maybe a light jacket or a long sleeve shirt just for later when it does start to cool down. And Toby Mac will be on the main stage, uh, which is at West Clifton Road and Georgia Avenue, the intersection of those two. So get out there and check them out. Definitely already seeing a large crowd out there from uh, Emily's live shots that we've been going to as far as looking at uh, the forecast for football tonight high school football a lot of good games going on I know a big one is Midland Valley versus North Augusta those temperatures pretty much in the 60s throughout the entirety of the game so it'll be a cooler feel than what we have felt for this afternoon so again a long sleeve shirt light jacket not a bad idea as we head towards tomorrow morning we'll find those temperatures in the mid to upper 50s so it'll be another one of those above average mornings and that trend of 50s for the mornings does continue into the weekend. As far as high temperatures for your Saturday, those do stay above average in those low 80s for tomorrow underneath mostly sunny skies with a west wind at about three to six miles per hour. We do have some changes though on the way getting into next week. For this weekend, we'll pretty much keep our upper level ridge in place, which that just means above average temperatures and mostly fair weather. As we continue towards Tuesday, Halloween, we'll have high temperatures only in the 70s as we see a trough start to swing in from the west. And then as we continue into your Wednesday and Thursday, that trough becomes a little bit more pronounced across the middle and eastern U.S. That will allow for our temperatures to be in the 60s for highs by Wednesday. And then Thursday and the Friday morning, we're talking about those temperatures for the starts of your Thursday. Thursday and Friday morning down near freezing. So a big temperature drop on the way as we continue into next week. Our mornings stay in the 50s through at least Halloween morning. And then by that next day, we're down towards the 40s for Wednesday morning. As far as high temperatures, you can see that fall off in between Monday and Wednesday over a 20 degree temperature drop in 48 hours. So this is going to be a pretty strong cold front. Not going to be a record setting front, though. We have had hotter and colder Halloweens looking back to 2016 and 1963. And the wettest Halloween uh, came in at just over an inch and a half uh, way back in 1988. Here's the outlook for Halloween at this time. Looking at our longer range models in between the American and European forecast, you can see the Euro has us a lot warmer, but it does also show the chance for some isolated showers. So a little bit of a discrepancy here between the two, but definitely expecting those temperatures to be closer to average, if not below average. And the chance for maybe an isolated shower looks to be possible as we do head into Halloween night, unfortunately for trick or treating. So keep it here for updates. Things could change for the better. At least for the weekend, though, we're looking at mostly sunny uh, skies and drier weather with a big cool down once again in place for the middle to end of next week. Thank you, McKay.